What's up guys, it's Sora and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are making something really, really fun. It's called Cookie Brownie Oreo Cake. It is going to be really delicious. Here's what you need. You need half a batch of cookie dough. I already made it. Um, you need a brownie mix. This is a brownie mix. Out of a box, just make brownie mix, whatever how the... Whatever way you make brownie mix, make that. I have 15 Oreos, and I have a 30 by 22, what? I have a 33 by 22 by 5.8 centimeter pan. This, okay. But just make sure that whatever pan you have, make sure that the Oreos are spaced out, because you don't want them all to be like, crunched up together all right but before we get started subscribe like this video and hit that notification bell so you can see more cooking videos see more great videos that I do all right let's get started first of all you got to make the brownie and cookie mix check check done that's done you need to get Oreos I have dark chocolate Oreos because these are my favorite Oreos but you can do any Oreos. It's not like you gotta do this one. Any Oreo you want. So like mint flavor Oreos, whatever Oreo you like, do that. All right, first of all, you need a spoon. Take the cookie dough and pour it, well not pour it, scoop it into the pan. Now I scooped it into the pan. It is in the pan now we have to spread it out. All right guys, we figured this out really, really quickly that the cookie dough did not fit in the longer pan. So now I'm gonna suggest to you not to do a pan that is long. Use like this pan. This pan is a eight by eight inch pan and it would really work with half a batch and it would make it good. So I put the Oreos in. Uh, at least see the one that I put in that was different. Yeah, okay, so I put all the Oreos in. Now it's time for the brownie mix. So, yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, okay. We're gonna leave now. So on this part, guys, you guys do not need, if you do not want it to flood over. So remember that you could literally have a whole box of brownie mix, but you can, if you have extra, just make, just make some brownies. Like it doesn't, just don't waste the brownie mix because you could ruin it if you put too much in. I think that's good. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Alright. That is enough. The rest will make into a little heart-shaped brownie. But you can make brownies after you are done with that. This is what it looks like right now. I'm going to take the spatula out. Here's where it comes in important, guys. Set the oven to 350. It looks really good right now. All right, it is time to put it in the oven. Alrighty guys, it is out of the oven. It's cooled, so that's how I'm touching it. It looks really, really good. Um, so you should cook it for about 35 minutes. 30 to 35 minutes. You gotta watch it because the brownie cooks kinda different than the cookie, so. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna give this a try. Um, it's gonna be a little hard to cut the first piece. It'll be a little messy to cut the first piece. It's just insanity. So this, I am actually gonna change the name 
to the Lava Brownie. So that's my new name of it. It looks really, really good. It's a little gooey inside, but you don't want to burn the brownie. That's one thing you don't want to do. I'm really excited to taste this, guys. I think this is going to be a 10 out of 10. Let me get some. And that is really, really, really good. It just tastes fantastic because the gooey part is the Oreo. It's just melted in with the cookie and the brownie. So it's, it's so, it like, how, how do I say it? it didn't, it's not, it's not a cookie. It's, it's not an Oreo anymore. How about that? It just tastes so good, guys. Okay, guys, if you guys do not want to make the cookie dough and all that from homemade, just go to the store, grab any cookie dough, basically, because you could use any cookie dough. So, that's it, guys. This is the Lava Brownie Cookie. Whatever the name is. That it, It's just a made-up name. I don't know. Okay. That is it. We will see you guys next time. Like this video. Subscribe. And we will see you guys next time.